Good afternoon ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. I'm Steve and you're watching Bushcraft with Steve Outdoors. I hope you're all well. Now if you are a current follower of the channel you will be aware that the awesome folk over at Winnerwell sent me their secondary combustion fire pit and grill to test during my time at the Bushcraft show this year. Now the original plan was to do the review before we went to the Bushcraft show. Unfortunately our weather has been absolutely erratic at best over in the UK so I have not had a chance to get out and do a full review which is what we are going to do today but while at the Bushcraft show I did manage to get a few segments showing you the box contents and the build instructions for the stove so we'll go through that first and then I'll bring you back to camp and we'll finish off the review there so see you soon guys bye bye so we are going to get this fire pit and grill up and running but before we start I'm just going to show you the box contents show you what we get inside the box run through a couple of the specs before we set fire to it and uh, change it from its beautiful new state into a slightly worn um, tarnished condition. So guys and girls as you know the very kind folk over at Winniewell have sent me one of their, their only secondary combustion fire pit and grill for review and use at the Buscraft show so thank you very much for that. So as you can see here when we open the box we do get a set of destructions this will give you the illustration of the fire pit in its assembled state. I think this comes in at around 6.7 kilo um, there we go. Now the good thing with this secondary combustion or gasification fire pit is there are many like it on the market but this I think is a bespoke version as the other ones do come in separate pieces that you have to assemble yourself or you can get them in the guise of the uh, solo stove which is a cylindrical drum. Um, again that is going to take up a lot of space in your truck or car. This one does fold down so we have two triangular grills and we have the square grill for the base of the fire pit. The next layer consists of the table and grill. Again this can be used independently um, as a table while preparing your food before going on the grill and it can also be used on the grill for cooking. Fantastic. This ladies and gents is the actual grill. And again this is very very compact in dimensions and again one of the only ones I have actually seen on the market. The massive selling point regarding this fire pit and grill is just how small and compact the form factor is when it's folded down as you can see. The fire pit is very well finished in a lovely stainless steel brushed effect and it is very well built and does feel very very premium when you are assembling. Now the major selling point of this fire pit is the very easy assembly which takes just a matter of less than a minute probably once you are used to doing it and if you are familiar with the Winnerwell fast fold stoves such as the Winnerwell fast fold um, hot tent stove which I do very proudly own this uses the same catch system as that stove allowing you to very easily assemble the fire pit as such and each one of these catches are slightly bent out so when you house that into the catch it does create a friction friction fit but that is the fire pit operational now we just have the feet on the bottom and these fold out like so fire pit assembled now the second bit of furniture we have for the fire pit is the height adjustable grill or the table that can be used independently and with this one we can attach the table top using both the triangular grill plates like this we can also have just the one on there if you're cooking over the fire with this this has also got a weight bearing loading of eight kilogram i will show you how the fire pit grill integrates with the actual fire pit so we have two catches on either side of the stove here and then these will just sit in and latch on um, this is adjustable via the bars on the side and again we can remove or use both if we like depending on what we're cooking or boiling. We have very kindly been sent the optional extension legs for the stove. These also work with the large Winnerwell and the medium Winnerwell Nomad stoves. So these are optional, I think these come in at £50 but again this will give you a nice advantage when it comes to lifting the stove off the ground. So that top plate is nice though. You know, it's cool isn't it? And uh, it's a bit, in fact that's the top mount. There's a bit of side play but you've got these latches 
In fact, one's like that, but if you, if you just knock one down, it removes it. So I will demonstrate quickly just how to put the extension legs on. I'll only do one because, again, we are hungry and we do want that steak. So these just slide in behind the existing legs on the stove, so you can see the screw barrel. Then this sits over the top. Put in your supplied wing nuts and just wind that home like so. Slip in that stainless steel sleeve behind the wing nut bolt and then just tighten that up. And that should give you around 10 inches of um, extension on the legs. Every inch helps. Well, now we have the stainless steel mesh grill and that can sit in the bottom of the stove on the first set of runners. Um, that's if you're using wood. And we can move it up to the second runner if you choose to use charcoal. And there we go. Some nice smokeless action. Oh look at them swells in there now. That is working a treat that isn't it? Now I must say this fire pit is performing phenomenally. We're just chucking tiny bits of fuel in there now from a, a broken down stump behind us and that is doing the trick and the heat of this. Steer's just scalded his hands and removed half the hair from the back of his uh, palm. <laughs> Oh yeah, all good. And uh, look at that. This is belting some wacky heat out of this. The hotel got your number then, Steve? Yes. It's already arrived, my, my stuff. My, my bag has arrived. The Winnowell Secondary Combustion Portable Grill and Fire Pit offers a compact and portable design, making it ideal for camping trips, tailgating and backyard bonfires. It features a grill attachment which provides a versatile cooking platform allowing users to brew coffee in the morning and cook meals throughout the day. The fire pit is engineered with a secondary combustion concept which utilises a double wall structure with strategically placed holes to draw in air from the bottom and feed heated oxygen to the top resulting in an efficient burn with minimal ash. The removable grill platform can be transformed into a cooktop or used as a self-standing table or shelf. And it can also be paired with a gas burner for added cooking options. Oh, back so soon ladies and gents. Well, let us continue. So, seeing as we have got the rack over the fire here, let's start with the tabletop grill. So, as you can see, the tabletop grill is not limited in its applications. It is designed to be used over the fire pit, but that can be removed. And again, as you can see here, we can use that to cook over a small fire or coals to boil your coffee, cook a steak, which I do intend to do in a bit, which I think is a plus one in versatility. The cooking rack is a load bearing weight of eight kilograms and is more than robust enough to hold your largest pots and pans, maybe large kettles. The fit and finish of the fire pit is of a very high standard indeed. And everything from the edges of the stainless steel to the welds is finished off very nicely, meaning no sharp edges, no burrs and no risk to the end user. Functionality and ease of use. Now this is the fourth time I've used this fire pit and on each use I've experienced no difficulties in getting a fire established inside the box. It's a simple matter of just creating your traditional fire lay in the bottom, adding small amounts of fuel and then after about 10 to 20 minutes you will start to get that gasification burn. When you do have a nice bed of coals established in the bottom of the fire pit this thing will just keep on going and it is incredibly frugal. Um, you only have to add small bits of fuel just to keep that burn continuous. This thing does belt out some absolutely fantastic heat. And on the camp where we took this, I was cooking steak, boiling water on the top tier of the adjustable mount here. Not once did I adjust the grill at any point and everything cooked from the top with just coals in the bottom for the majority of the cooking time. Very, very efficient indeed. Now, as far as versatility goes, in my honest opinion, Winnowell has always been one of them companies for me that strives to offer you just a little bit more than the intended purpose of the product. If we take the Winnowell Fast Fold Titanium Hot Tent Stove that I actually own, that thing can actually be used as a fire pit as well as a hot tent stove, which just gives you that extra bit of versatility when not using it for its intended purpose. And as for what remains in the fire pit after use, well, take a look for yourself. <laughs> oh. It's just ash in it. <clears throat> now where caution needs to be exercised is the packing away of the fire pit. Reason being, if you look on the bottom of the fire pit here you'll see two hinges. One is longer than the other. 
This dictates which panel folds in first um, when packing the fire pit away. So when you're ready to pack the fire pit away, just slow things down, take your time, and I'll demonstrate that to you now. So first of all, we're going to undo the catches on the front. And on the back, same thing. These will fold into place. And just make sure these are actually fully extended so you can drop the, the left and right wings. Then I'm guessing that one and that one on top. And then the shorter one folds in on top of that. Just make sure all the catches are nice and neat in. And then the larger panel sits over the top of that, like so. Another nice feature. If you don't actually intend to use the uh, fire pit straight away, you do have another table just in its collapsed state here. More versatility. Now, while the fire pit was under use at the Buscraft Show, we did experience one very, very tiny, insignificant mishap. Um, that being, I went to the toilet and the lads at camp decided to get the fire pit going in my absence, which is very, very kind of them. Um, they forgot to put the mesh grill in the bottom of the fire pit and in the bottom of the fire pit we do have a number of slits um, in the bottom of there to aid circulation of the oxygen. Now what they did was they built the fire at the base of the fire pit negating the grill and when I arrived to camp it was already going, it was already a good fire and I kind of panicked a little bit for about an hour um, continuously checking the bottom to make sure it hadn't bowled out um, but I'm glad to report that did not impede on the performance or the packability of the uh, fire pit. Um, it doesn't say anything in the instructions that you can't do that, but I would advise you always use the grill that comes with the um, fire pit to build your fire on top of, rather than the base of the stove. So my final thoughts on the Winnerwell fire pit and grill. I've really enjoyed using that piece of equipment, especially down at the Bushcraft Show, where once that was roaring, we sat around it, I'd go a few beers and that enabled me to cook a most awesome steak and later in the evening when we'd all had a drink we just threw all the breakfast items on there as well. Price, as of today, the 10th of June, the fire pit is on sale at the Canvas Tent Shop by Winnerwell for £247.99. Now, I have not been given any discount codes, although I will speak to the staff over at Winnerwell to see if they're able to um, supply me with a discount code and if that happens I will put that down in the description box below but 247 pounds i think is a fair price again it's a bomb proof piece of kit that offers versatility on top of its original purpose and in my honest opinion it is a stylish looking fire pit and i don't think that'd look out of place on a very posh patio portability coming in at 6.7 kilo or 14.8 pounds it's definitely not the lightest fire pit about although saying that it is extremely portable now i've carried that from about a mile's distance from the car today using the supplied carry case and to be honest, it was no major stress. Um, I wouldn't want to carry it much further, but saying that, I have carried much heavier um, pieces of equipment into camp before now. The extension legs are fully compatible with Winnerwell's Nomad large and medium hot tent stoves. They also sell a stainless steel table. I will put the link in the description, again, to elevate your hot tent stoves off the ground or even your fire pit. But if you are looking for a lightweight option to elevate your fire pit for a bit more height I would suggest picking up a set of these extension legs but if your budget allows and you are in the market for a new fire pit maybe for your garden or to take camping with you the Winnerwell secondary combustion fire pit is definitely worth a look I can highly recommend it and I haven't seen anything like it on the market to be honest I know UCO have just released their own gasification fire pit but it doesn't offer the versatility or the modulation of the Winnerwell here and on that note ladies and gents I'm going to say goodbye so I hope you've enjoyed today's content and I hope today's video was of some value to you. I also hope you're enjoying the content that's been put out on the channel so far. If you would like to support the channel, you can do so by hitting that subscribe button. It is free to you, but means the world to me. You can also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. If you would like to support the channel further, you can become a channel member. Um, link will be down in the description, but your viewership is absolutely enough for me. Thank you very much. Until the next one, guys, you stay safe and as always, stay crafty. See you again. Bye-bye.